So at this point, I think we have to believe this is respiratory. Maybe fomites, too. What's that, fomites? Uh, it refers to transmission from surfaces. The average person touches their face two or three thousand times a day. Two or three thousand times a day? Three to five times every waking minute. In between, we're touching doorknobs, water fountains, elevator buttons, and each other. Those things become fomites. My wife makes me take off my clothes in the garage, and she leaves out a bucket of warm water and some soap, and then she douses everything in hand sanitizer after I leave. I mean, she's overreacting, right? Not really. And stop touching your face, Dave. What we need to determine is this. For every person who gets sick, how many other people are they likely to infect? So, for seasonal flu, that's usually about one. Smallpox, on the other hand, it's over three. Now, before we had a vaccine, polio spread at a rate between four and six. Now, we call that number the r naught. R stands for the reproductive rate of the virus. Any ideas what that might be for this? How fast it multiplies depends on a variety of factors. The incubation period, how long a person is contagious. Sometimes people can be contagious without even having symptoms. We need to know that too. And we need to know how big the population of people susceptible to the virus might be. So far that appears to be everyone with hands, a mouth, and a nose. Once we know the r naught, we'll be able to get a handle on the scale of the epidemic. I can't feel my hands. I messed up my snow angel. I'm fine, Jory. If neither of us have it, then we can't give it to each other. Get away from me. Dad! Get away! Get away! Dad! What are you doing? Stay there! Go home, Andrew! Sussman gets anointed by the National Academy of Sciences and every pharmaceutical executive gets a hard on. They'll be growing the virus in every lab on Earth. All the pharmaceutical stocks are already through the roof. Well, what's next? You're familiar with Forsythia. What does Forsythia do? It's the cure. After the Spanish flu in 1918, you know, people got rich. The Vicks Vapor Rub people, the Lysol people, look it up. One man dies, another man makes money off his coffin. I'm not the first person to make money off the fact that our immune system is a work in progress. The pharmaceutical industry do it every quarter. I don't think anyone is immune to opportunity, Alan. It's just that the studies show that there is no proof that Forsythia okay. works. Who conducted the studies? You really think this Dr. Hextall CDC person is Jesus in a lab coat? The government rushed the trials. The lawyers indemnified the drug companies. Maybe it causes autism or narcolepsy or cancer 10 years from now. Who knows? You, the, the swine flu vaccine killed people back in 1976. Nerve disease. So we're all guinea pigs starting from today. Just wait. They'll start listing side effects like the credits at the end of a movie. There are stories circulating on the internet that in India and elsewhere, the drug ribavirin has been shown to be effective against this virus. Yet, Homeland Security is telling the CDC not to make any announcements until stockpiles of the drug can be secured. Well, Dr. Gupta, there continue to be evaluations of several drugs. Ribavirin is among them. But right now, our best defense has been social distancing. No handshaking, staying home when you're sick, washing your hands frequently. Can you tell us to date how many people have died from this virus? Very difficult. We're still working on uh, confirming that number. There are 50 different states in this country, which means there are 50 different health departments, followed by 50 different protocols. There's a sick congressman from Illinois in D.C. He was in Chicago over the holiday. They're using the pod to fly him home, then they're closing down Midway and O'Hare. 
The governor there is calling out the National Guard. They're setting up roadblocks. They're shutting down the Board of Trade, public transportation. Even the Teamsters are pulling their drivers off the road. People are still going to slip through, you know Yes, that. they will. The Secret Service is moving the president underground. Congress is figuring out how to work online. When the word goes out, there will be a run on the banks, gas stations, grocery stores, you name it. People will panic. The virus will be the least of our worries. It will tip over now. We just need to make sure that nobody knows until everybody knows. anything. Help me. Here, give me your hands. Okay. You really rub this in. vaccination are those people born on March 10th. The next citizens to receive the MEV1 vaccination are those born on the date January 11th. January okay. 11th. All right. 144. Day that's, 145. <clears throat> still uh, 200, uh, more than 200 birthdays, huh? That haven't been called, so that's good. That's a good number. What if they run out? They're not going to run out. They have enough to keep up with the man. They did that already. March 28th. Maybe I'm immune like you, and I don't even need it. That's not a chance we're take. To stay 10 feet so instead, we lose spring. Online. We lose summer. To wash we lose another 144 days that don't happen again. At least you know you'll be safe. Hey, beats waiting another seven months. Dave, what are you saying? Thank you. You're welcome, Anthony. Do you know where this comes from? Shaking hands? No. Well, it was a way of showing a stranger that you weren't carrying a weapon in the old days. Good job. I'm pretty sure. You offered your empty right hand to show that you meant no harm. I wonder if the virus does. Oh my God. Dr. Jared, thanks. <laughs> 